Beneficiaries of the training received the toolkits. The Employment and Training Officer in the Ministry of Sport, Youth and National Service, Nedli Swaniso, noted that the young people must be empowered with knowledge and skills that will have an impact on different aspects of life. Liswaniso stressed that the toolkits received by trainees will not only empower the beneficiaries financially, but they will also enable them to employ other young people to eliminate poverty. They are not only in our region, but they are all in these six constituents. I mean, six are, are regions that are called dream regions. But in some busy region, due to financial uh, limitation, we have only selected uh, three constituencies. It's three constituencies, uh, Kabi, Sibinda, Katima Rural, and Kabeno. So these are the three constituencies from where these five young people are coming from. The beneficiaries are involved in bakery and restaurant operations. Liswaniso cautioned beneficiaries to make sure that the assistance given made a difference in their lives, to which the beneficiaries nodded. We, we take this, this, uh, this long journey. Since from March, I attended the, the training from Gita, uh, and then again we went back in July. We attended again the G2G workshop, and then again, finally, we went to Oshakati for this uh, toolkit handover, uh, and now we are here. Each beneficiary received a toolkit worth more than $20,000, while two of them received high-voltage electricity machinery worth more than $20,000 in addition, totaling more than $100,000. Sidi Lomviana, NBC News, Katimamdilo.